Isang mga kabuluhang talakayan patungkol sa ating kalusugan, kaligtasan at kagantahan. Kay Ate Dok lang yan. Mga tamang kaalaman at napapanahong usapin para sa pamilyang Pilipino. Siyempre, si Ate Dok yan. Kaya mga ka-wellness, andito na si Ate Dok, Cheryl Pollard, upang bigyan tayo ng tamang kaalaman sa ating kalusugan, kaligtasan at kagandahan. Samahan si Ate Dok tuwing Biyernes, 1pm Philippine Time. Dito lang yan sa V81 Radio Worldwide. Alright, magandang magandang gabi po sa ating lahat, mga ka-healthwise, ayan. At uh, of course, gabi din naman ng Thursday at isa lang naman po ang ibig sabihin yan. Healthwise for Christ na and we are in Season 4, still in Season 4, at kalusugan pang physical at spiritual ang ating mga pag-uusapan dito. Sa ngalan po ni Ate Jen, ako nga po pala si Kuya Ian, kapatid at kasama niyo kay Kristo, kaya pamilya po tayong lahat dito. Ikaw na nanonood sa amin, kapatid ka namin kay Kristo ka-healthwise. Cooking Demo 3, naku napaka-exciting na naman po ng ating mga pag-uusapan dito. And at the same time, last Thursday, we've talked about episode 5, season 4, about the immune and lymphatic system. Grabe, maraming salamat at saludo ako kay Ate Shalom. <laughs> Thank you for covering for me. At talagang kaya naman po... Um, Napaganda po ng mga diskusyonan back then. And of course, si Dr. Um, Ma- Malot Reliosa de Torres, maraming salamat sa inyong lecture. Talagang natutun- na- nat- 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 natuto na naman po ang ating mga ka-healthwise. And of course, i-follow nyo po kami at i-like nyo po kami sa aming Facebook page na Healthwise for Christ and ang aming YouTube channel na Healthwise. Ayan. And of course, siya nga po pala, huwag niyo pong kalimutan, bukas po sa V81 Radio, 1pm Philippine Time. Again, that's V81, V as in Victory, 81 Radio, 1pm Philippine Time. Si Ati Dok po ay meron po siyang palabas. Ayan. And before anything else, of course, bago ko po pasukin ang ating mainstay chef, mainstay chef na si, ati, uh, na si Chef Lorna, ito po ang ating mga greetings. Ayan. Ako, maraming marami po. Of course, Tita, uh, si Tita Melda Tumaneng from Vintar, Ilocos Norte. Hello po. Ayan po. Sana po masabi niyo po what place are you from? Maria Martinez. Ayan po. Good evening po sa inyo. Uh, Germaline Joy Gitap. Good evening po. Junio Verse. Moses Maglonzo. Eileen Rosales. JC Miguel Tung, uh, Tungkwa. Yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing your names right. Adelaida Garciano. Gracel Enoch. Ang sabi po niya, hello po mga ka-healthwise and blessed evening po sa lahat. Yes, thank you so much. Ayan. Of course, Tita Esther Pagdilao. Ayan. Thank you so much po, Tita, for joining in. And Amalia Gutgula. Ayan. Mag... Magnon Oblepias, hello po. Vicente Dumos, hello po. Si Nini Nanyes, ayan. And thank you po for watching. Si Gracel Enoch, maraming salamat. May Annalyn Escame, good evening po. Hazel Joy Borje, ayan. And then we have, of course, Pastor Ernel Garzula. Hello, thank you for tuning in, ayan. 
Si Goldie Matthews, thank you din po for, for tuning in. And then we have Vajesa Adriatico. And then we have um, Peri, Pericles Mabida. Good evening, LC family. I hope I'm really pronouncing your names right. If not, pasesya na po. Lorna Rial. Hello po, Sister Lorna. And ayan po, nag po ng good evening sa atin si Pastor Ernel. Of course, Tita Perla. Hello. Naku, Tita Perla, sana sumali kayo sa ating ano, power plate. Ayan. Christine Gintu of VR. Thank you. Si Graciel Agbayani from Vintar, Ilocos Norte. Ayan. Um, Melinda Salu Salagubang de la Cruz. Good evening po. We have also Norma po um, Pungan. Ayan. Good evening. John Anthony Canonoy. Good evening. Christine Opiar. We have Che Velasco. Hello. Melinda de la Cruz. Merben um, Simongan. Ayan. Thank you so much for tuning in. Esther Perez. We have Teddy Talisay. Susan Ciares, Peniel Principe, Gracia Gracia, hello po ba mga ka-healthwise, hello. Si Dane Trino, ayan, Ning Adalin, thank you so much for watching. We also have the, um, Alespe Peña, hello po. Ayan. And a greet ng special greetings, hello din sa'yo Gracia, ayan, <laughs> good evening. Of course, Christopher Reyes Timbol. Hello. Marisa Policarpio. Ayan. Thank you for watching po. Marian Aspe. Wait lang po. Uh, let me just, uh, here po. We have Marian Aspe. We have Dyron Hope. Good evening. Help us watching from, Vil napakadami ng watchers from Vintar, Ilocos Norte. Tita Meldam Atumaning, thank you for sharing. Ayan. Sige, let's spread the good news about the, the right hand of the gospel, which is health. Ayan. Si Dane Tino. Ayan. We also have Jingilin Dumos from Valenzuela. Hmm. We have something in store for you. Wag po kayo umalis. Uh, Vanessa uh, Fredul, uh, Freduluces. Ayan. Si Anlin Escame. We have G. Doria. Danny D. Ivy Vina. Watching from Quezon Province, Salucena. Hello, lahat po ng mga taga Quezon Province dyan po sa Lucena particularly. Good evening po sa inyo mga ka-healthwise dyan. Angelina Cuenca, Cortez Fl uh, Florom, uh, Florame. Hello, Nikiel! Hi! Ayan, namiss ko na itong batang to. At ang kanyang ina na si Atiki. Hello. Uy! Hello, Rhea. Ayan. Nice to see you. Carol, uh... Portugal, hello po. Good evening po sa inyo. Si Annie Barrios is watching. Thank you very much. We have Roxanne Alpajandro. Ayan, ang dami po po. And from Polillo, Quezon, Maria Martinez. Maraming salamat for watching. We have John Torres. We have Flor Lorbis. Vanessa Fredules. Ah, watching from NE Lac or, or NELAC. Okay, thank you. Thank you lahat po ng inyong mga kasamahan dyan. Thank you for watching us. Um, Isabel Mer Mercado. Ayan. Thank you for watching. Ganyan din po kay Lilibet Jacinto, kay Rose Narvaez, and si Zian Atencio. Watching from Tarlaca City. Maya Pabengi po. Maya Pabengi kaya kayo. <laughs> ben Mayor. Isabel. Okay. Watching from Italy pala. Hi. Ayan. And then we have, kailan mo isend yung record? <laughs> we will send that later on. And then John Canonoy, ayan, from Bacoor, Cavite. Ayan. We have uh, Norma Pungan, ayan. Calvin Monti 7 po. Si Carol Astibe, Portugal. We have Cortez Florame, Florame ayan. We have Marife Joy. From SCLC, San Pablo, Laguna. Hello po, Marife from uh, Marife Gagarin. Ayan. Good evening po sa inyo, mga ka-healthwise dyan. Si Rowena Puod Alvarez. We have uh, Jovi. Hello. Watching from Pangil, Laguna. We have Virginia Sa uh, Sag uh, Sager. Ayan. Ah, si Ate Donya Tayag. Hello. Thank you for watching. And then we have Esther Perez. 
We have Gina De Luna from Israel. We have Esther Perez. Lina Hernandez. Yun, M Emmy, Emmy Grace Ebron. And of course, last but not the least, we have Uniline Samonte. Maraming maraming salamat po. And you know, um, maraming salamat sa inyong pag... Uh, uh, oh, watching from Selena Hernandez, watching from Batanga City. And of course, we have Ati Penina. Yeah, hi, hello, Ati Penny. Yeah, good evening, Senor. And I hope people from AUP are watching as well. We have Sedes de la Cruz. Thank you for watching. Ayan, maraming salamat. At hindi ko na ito patatagalin, of course. Aki na pong papapasukin si Chef Lorda. Hello, Chef Lorda. Hi. Good evening hi, hi. po hi. sa inyong lahat. Uh, kamusta na po kayo at kamusta na po ang inyong power plate na gagawa po ba natin ito all throughout the week. Sana po ang aking panalangin ay nagagawa natin ito sa ating kusina. At this point in time, nais ko pong uh, magbigay uh, sa inyo ng konting glimpse sa ating recipe. Meron po something Japanese. I, kuya Iyan, ang ating uh, mga dishes ngayon na gagawin nating vegetarian at uh, definitely vegan. No? Uh, Japanese food naman ang ating gagawin ngayon. Yes, thank you so much. And of course, Chef Lorna, ito na ang ating meals. Ayan, akin na pong isi-share yung video for that. Okay. Um, Ayan. Okay, bo. Wow, this yeah. So last week, ang atin pong uh, lecture is about the immune and lymphatic system. So, uh, ito po yung breakfast natin ngayon. Okay, kaya iyan. Mm -hmm. Ayan. I-post natin, Chef Lorna, no? para sa mga ingredients. Oo. Ma napakadali lang po niyan. Lahat nila, wala kayong lulutuin. So, meron itong car carrots. Dapat po yung matchstick lang yung ating, yung ating hiwa or strips, no? Ang ating pong pinakagagawa ng recipe dyan ay yung ating cucumber, yung pickled cucumber. Yan. Pwede rin nyo pong gamitin kung meron pa yung boiled na corn. Pwede rin po yun. I-shred lang natin. Or kung gusto nyo yung inihaw na corn, i-shred din natin para may lasa. Yung green peas. No? Yan po yung ating green peas. So kung titingnan nyo po, ay napakasimple lang pero very healthy breakfast. Prepare ko yan ngayon, Kuya Iyan, yung ating rice. Kasi as Filipinos, rice lover tayo eh. So yung iba hindi nag-o-old. So I took time to prepare yung breakfast na may rice. I see. Chef Lorna, is it possible po ba na we could... Uh, oh, what's that in the middle po pala? Ah, na naglagay ako ng mayo. If you have yung vegan mayo, pwede rin yun. Or kung meron kayo na... If some of you are using uh, egg, pwede rin lagay nyo egg, no? Or a vegetarian. Ano, yeah, uh, tapos may nori lang. Yeah. Uh, and then, then uh, we have the seeds. Wow, ang ganda. Yeah, so very colorful. The, the rainbow represent different nutrients. Okay? Ayun. Meron Chef pa niyan, Kuya Ian. Diretso mo pa. Ay, one, lang, one question lang po. Chef Lorna, yeah? is it possible that we could replace rice for those who are watching for their carbs, yung pong uh, bago ngayon po yung cauliflower rice? Yeah, pwede rin, but it's not grain. Uh, cauliflower is considered um, vegetables, di ba? We are following mm. the power plate. So, pwede okay. kayong mag-quinoa, pwede yung couscous, oh. no? Pwede yan, okay? So, let's continue para makita nila yung finished okay, product. Okay. 
So, pag, minik, pag minix mo yan, ganun na yung itsura niya. Then, of course, with fruits on the side. Yeah. Para makompleto yung ating power plate. Okay? So, yung cucumber natin, ito po yung recipe, no? Uh, mix nyo lang, okay? Can we stop? Can we pause, Kuya Ian? Oh, sure, sure that, ano, Breakfast. Siguro yung ano. Yan. Yeah. Yan. Yeah. Yeah. So, for the pickled cucumber, yung water lang po, plus apple cider, sugar, salt, onion, and then mix everything lang po. Stir, tapos lalagay nyo na po yung cucumber nyo. And then, marinate it like for ilang minutes lang. Or if you want, you can put it in a container, tapos merong lid siya para every time you want to eat pickled cucumber, meron kayong nakaredy na. So, ito po yung magpapalasa dun sa ating poke bowl or yung rice toppings kasi yung pickled cucumber medyo meron siyang kick, no? So, the more na merong, merong lasa yung, yung inyong rice topping ay mas masarap. So, tingnan po ulit natin, ano? No, I'll try to um, go back no sa finished product, Kuya Ian. So this is our lunch, no? Uh, I made the Japanese rice. Actually, it's Japanese fried rice. Pero since I will not be using oil, so it's Japanese rice lang. Hindi na, stir, hindi na Japanese fried rice. But the basic ingredients are there, no? So ayan, I'm using also the brown rice. Okay, yung brown rice po, lulutuin nyo lang siya ng normal rice dun sa rice cooker. Yan. And then after yung mainin na po yung wala ng, wala ng water, that's the time you will put everything, all the veggies. Uh, yung shiitake mushroom, it's soaked and boiled for about 5 minutes. And then you mix everything. So if you will notice po, medyo watery pa yung ating rice. No? So pagka Ilagay na po natin doon sa, uh, uh, ano hina natin siya, uh, iin-imin. Tama ba yun? Tagalog po. <laughs> Yan. So, yung water po na konti, yun na yung magluluto doon sa nilagay natin different kinds of veggies. Yan. So, that's Japanese rice, no? Instead of sauteing yung garlic, we just put the, the garlic, crushed garlic doon. Ito po yung ating shabu-shabu, no? But we have a basic um, vegetable broth. Yung nasa chopping board po, yung po yung pinaka-basic yan. Okay, can we pause, Kuya Ian? Okay, uh, hindi, Kuya Ian, go back to the, ano, to the picture nung ano, uh, sa may chopping board. Yan. So, if you will notice po, yung chopping board, meron silang gulay, no? We have the celery, the leeks, carrots, peppercorn, yung buong paminta, and then the shiitake mushroom, buo siya, and the onion. So, everything, you have to cut it. Kahit hindi nyo na po balatan yung carrots, no? Pero yung onion, syempre, babalitan natin. <laughs> Kahit na hindi nyo pa na-boil yung, yung shiitake, put everything in a pot. No? So, so meron po tayong 2 liters of water tapos put everything in there so you have to boil it at a medium heat mga maybe 15 to 25 minutes para ma-reduce lang yung, 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 kanyang, ano, yung liquid niya so uh, you call that reduction pinapa ina-absorb niya lahat no? yung, mga, yung mga lasa ng celery, ng leeks, ng shiitake okay? so can we continue Kuya Ian? But before we continue, Chef Lorna, mayroon nagtatanong dito, um, are they, they're asking, bibimbap ba yan? Vegetarian bibimbap ba yan? I think they were asking about the meal earlier. Um, ah, hindi po. po. Oh, oh. Ang bibimbap po kasi nakaroll sa nori. So, iyon po ay tinatawag na na rice, na poke bowl. You can Google it pag dun sa, hindi pa, sa Google, everything you want to know. So, yung poke bowl po, it's a rice dish, no? Uh, rice muna and then you put everything on top. 
no for some who are non-vegetarian they just put meat and then uh some others uh they put like uh fruits like mango on it and then they mix everything no they call it poke bowl or sa atin po sa Pilipinas we call it rice toppings yan um normally po yung ang mga yan ay hilaw so everything yung vitamins and nutrient ng ating mga uh, gulay ay nakakain natin ng buo without you know without um na hindi dumadaan sa sa uh, sa apoy so going back to the broth yung pong broth na yan you can use that in any kind of Um, cooking you want. Pwede yan sa nilaga, pwede yan sa sinigang, lalagyan mo lang siya ng pampaasim. So, when you do the broth, the vegetable broth, you can cool it down and then put it in a plastic bag, yung like yung sa ice bag, lalagyan nyo lang po siya ng mga like, for example, half, half filled ng ano, mm -hmm. tapos put it in the freezer. Tapos, every time you want to cook, just pull out yung isang plastic, tapos yun na, yun na po yung gagamitin nyo as your vegetable broth. Hindi nyo po kailangan ng beef broth or ng fish broth kasi malasa na, na, malasa na po yung inyong vegetable broth. Okay? So, we continue, Kuya Ian. So, we continue uh, playing. Okay, so after you put, you boil everything, it is strained lang po ninyo, no? Now, you see? Yan, sinala ko lang po yung everything para yung broth niya talaga, that's the one you will use. Naging brown na po siya, na-reduce na po natin siya. So, you have to um, boil it, no? Um, tapos, that's the time you will put all the um, ingredients for the shabu shabu yeah yeah and you have the carrots you have the tofu yung tofu po natin ay hindi fried no tapos you have the vermicelli or the sotanghon Last na po natin ilalagay yung mga green leafy veggies natin. And then you have to turn it off, no? Hindi na po natin papakuluan yan. In some restaurant, if you will notice po, di ba, yung hot, nasa gitna lang nyo yung ano, yung, yung lutoan, tapos nilalagyan nyo lang siya ng boiling soup. Tapos that's it. So, yung pechay po natin, tapos yung pangkong. Some even use the pechay or the uh, spinach. Pwede rin po. Whatever greens you have, pwede rin po yan. Yan. Off na po natin. Hindi na po natin siya papakuluan. Okay? Yan. Yan na po yung ating shabu-shabu with the Japanese rice. And If you will notice po, meron siyang soy sauce, no? Yung soy sauce na yon meron din po siyang timpla. Yan, okay? Can we pause, Kuya Ian, for the shabu-shabu? Okay, can we go back to the picture of shabu-shabu? Yan, yung shabu-shabu po, um, okay, can we, no, yung, na, yung finished product na, Kuya Ian, please. Yan, yung meron po dyang toyo, ano, um, sa side ng shabu-shabu, meron, normally, they put the sauce, the soy sauce. Yung soy sauce po, you can have the one-fourth cup toyo, the soy sauce, and then one tablespoon or half tablespoon kalamansi, depende dun sa inyong panglasa kung ayon yung maasim. And then, grated ginger. Meron po yung ginger, pero greenate, no? Tapos, meron din po siyang one tablespoon sugar. So, again, one-fourth uh, cup soy sauce. Normally, mas maganda po yung light soy sauce. 
or if you want a Japanese real Japanese Japanese na taste uh, you buy yung ano po yung kikoman no yun yung toyo ng mga Japanese eh. and then one half tablespoon calamansi one teaspoon grated ginger and then three or two to three tablespoon uh, sugar depende po do sa panlasa nyo and then the other one yung nasa saucer po it's called the bean curd skin or yung tinatawag na sa Chinese na tau pao. Now, in the regular shabu-shabu, they use meat. Di po ba yung beef? Yung sinas nilalagyan nila yung beef doon sa sabaw. But if you're a vegetarian, you can use tempeh or you can use uh, tofu. Ayan po, may tofu na ako. Or this one, yung bean curd skin. So, yan po yung ating shabu-shabu. You get a little of the soy sauce, tapos lalagyan nyo lang po yan doon sa bowl nyo para magkaroon ng taste yung ating shabu-shabu na broth, no? Okay? So, we have the dragon fruit and the cat cat. So, if you will notice po, the more colorful, the rainbow, the color of your food, the more it is packed with nutrient. Okay? So, ayan po. Chef Lorna, may question po dito ang isang viewer natin. Ang sabi niya, ayan, nag-appreciate siya, wow, my vegan alternative pala ang shabu-shabu. Pero, as daw po niya, may nabasa daw po kasi siya na hindi daw po pwedeng pagsabayin ang fruits and vegetables in one meal. Please enlighten me po. Thanks po. I think that question was raised before, di ba? Kuya Iya, ni Doc, ni Doc Elvin, no? ni Kuya Doc. Uh, normally po, pagkakain tayo, um, you have to prepare your 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 tang, pati po yung inyong ano, yung inyong um, pang grind, yung digestive system nyo. So, ang una po nung gagawin, in the morning, kailangan po, you have to drink warm water, one glass of warm water before you take your meal. Bakit po? Kasi po yung saliva natin, kailangan na siyang i-prepare natin para doon sa pagnguya niya, no? Hindi tayo mahihirapang ngumuya. Uh, there are times, if you will notice po, if you are in a hurry at hindi tayo iinom, uh, the tendency is, inom ka ng inom between meals. So, pagkain mo ng solid, inom, inom. But, when you drink warm water or water before you eat, napre-prepare na po natin yung ating tang, and, uh, pati yung ating digestive system, para mag-grind na ng mga pagkain na kinakain natin. Now, fruits are normally, they are eaten before meal. Lalo na po doon sa mga gustong magpa, magpapayat, no? Kasi yung once you take the fruits first, medyo busog ka na, di ba? Busog ka na. But the medical benefit po noon ay yung nutrient ng fruit ay nauuna muna doon sa ating katawan before you eat yung mga, yung gulay, no? So I think there's nothing wrong na pagsasabayan. But there are, I think, there are um, um, certain fruits na hindi pwedeng isabay sa gulay. Like, I, I think watermelon, no, sa umaga, hindi siya pwedeng uh, isabay sa mga greens, like yung, any, uh, like the lettuce or something like greens, yung mga greens. Yan po. Okay? Salamat po sa tanong. Okay, tuloy na natin, Chef so, So for dinner, ayan po yung ating lunch, no? Okay, ito po yung ating Japanese noodle. Parang wrong yung sinabi ni Paul, no? <laughs> so dinner can be light. So I have the noodles there, the miso paste. Tapos yan din po. Okay? Tapos gumamit po ako ng seaweed, if you will notice. Yan. So, yung soak na seaweed, lalaki po yun. Yan. Yan na yung seaweed natin. You have to boil it, I think, mga 3 to 5 minutes, no? Ibo-boil natin yung ating seaweeds. And then, the miso paste. Miso paste is also made from soybeans. So, masarap din po siya. And normally, I don't use 
um, salt or soy sauce if I use the miso paste. And then I use the mushroom, no, yung king oyster mushroom. So yung mga ramen na binibili nyo, no, na binibili natin sa restaurant, you can do it at home. Kung meron lang po kayong mga ganyan, mas at least healthy at alam nyo na dahil kayo ang gumawa, no, healthy and alam nyo yung malinis. So, um, kasi pagka once you order this kind of mga noodles doon sa uh, restaurant, hindi nyo po alam kung anong broth yung gamit nila, no. Actually, it's made from different, you know, the, the broth, it's from meat. Kaya masarap siya, kaya malasa siya. Yeah, and special shout-out kay Pastor Remy Montoya. Yeah, and tapos meron po rin akong sugar. I put a little bit of sugar kasi ang Japanese uh, food, eh, medyo matamis siya, no? But if you want, you can, it's an option for you. Pag-upad lang po natin para yung mushroom, medyo lumasa yung ating broth, no? So, ayan po. Tapos nag a lang po ako na... Uh, dumplings, no? Later, siguro, during the, ano, I will give you the recipe for the dumplings. So, yan na po, yung noodles, binoil ko lang yung noodles according to the instruction dun sa pack. And then, your broth, and then, your dumplings. So, you have a very nice dinner na po yan. Okay? With the matching fruits. Yan. So at least kuya iya na no medyo Japanese yung kinain nila. It's very nice na matipid na masarap pa. Okay. So last time yung ating pong ating lecture from um kay Doc Mar Marlot, it's about the immune system no, yung immune and lymphatic system. Now sabi po niya yung lymphatic system it's it's a support role to the to both cardiovascular at saka immune system. While the immune system po, it has a big role in fighting infection. So, ating pong i-analyze yung ating mga ginamit, ano? So, for uh, for the grain, we use the power plate again, okay? So, for the grain, you have your meal uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, hihimayin po natin, no? So, yung breakfast nyo, meron kayong grain, meron kayong rice. Tapos may corn kayo, may noodles kayo. So, ang brown rice po, it is high in fiber. It can reduce the risk of high of your heart diseases and it can um, also help prevent stroke. Yung ating pong corn, it has also high fiber. It also aids in our digestion. At ang noodles po, normally yung white noodles or the rice noodles, it's made from the whole grain. So, it also lowers your cholesterol. So, ano po yung mga vegetable na kinain natin the whole day, no? From breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have the carrots. Alam, na, napag-aralan po natin yung carrots. It is packed with nutrient, no? It has beta-carotene no? with vitamin A, can lower cholesterol. Meron po tayong cucumber. Yung, it has a high water content and it helps in the digestion. Yung pong leeks na akala natin ay walang purpose or walang vitamins. It is rich in vitamin A, C, and K. And it also has iron. Yung pong celery, kung makikita nyo po, no? It is rich in vitamin C. It has also beta-carotene. And it has 12 kinds of antioxidant, ang celery po. So, yung pechay po, it can improve your hormonal, your hormonal balance. And it is rich in vitamin C and A. Yung kangkong po, kangkong lang siya, pero it is rich in calcium and vitamin A. So, yung ating pong legume, we have the green peas, no? From morning, tapos dung lunch, it has uh, high protein, high fiber din po yan. It can control, it helps control your blood sugar. It can reduce the risk of your type B diabetes. It can also reduce um, the risk of heart diseases. And it also aids in, the, in your digestion. So, ito pong mga to, kapag nakain po natin, it boosts our immune system, no? nakakapagpalakas po ito ng immune system natin. Ganon din po yung mga fruits. We have the mango, which is rich in vitamin A and C. Yung papaya po, it can reduce the, heart, the risk of our heart disease. Yung dragon fruit, it is rich in vitamin C po. And 
eh, mer- marami pong antioxidant din to. Din po ito, which is good for our immune system. Yung kiat-kiat, it's rich in vitamin C. And the melon, it is rich in vitamin C and A. So if you will notice po, no? Um, if you eat this kind of food using the power plate method, uh, nakaka-boost po talaga ito ng ating immune system. Yan, kaya iyan. So, kung meron po kayong mga tanong, sana masagot ko, kuya Ian. <laughs> I think meron mga tanong dito, Chef Lorna, and I I really would like to appreciate um, yung ating meals na po, napaka-Japanese natin, na napaka-Asia ng theme ng ating meals. Um, isa sa mga question dito, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, ito, 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 ito. Hmm. Hmm. Ayan. Ang sabi ni Glenn Rose Zuniga, can you share also how to make miso because nobody is selling here in Bayawan Negros Oriental. Wow, hello from from those uh, taga Bayawan <laughs> Oriental. Sa mga taga Bayawan, hello. Good evening mga health wise diyan. But we have soybeans here. My soybeans sa sila but I think she's asking if we could give them a recipe about miso. Uh, Opo, chef, sige you, po. Would you um, do Share to, Sige share po, next time. share ko po yan next time. Uh, I ha- um, i-standardize ko lang po para masundan nyo ng properly yung how to make the miso. Although you can uh, look at look uh, the miso recipe yung sa Google, um, I can share with you kung paano po yung standard na gagawin ninyo. Okay? So kung wala po kayong miso, it's okay. Um, pwede nyo rin pong... Uh, lagyan ng konting toyo, yung light toyo. Yung medyo hindi po dark, no? Kasi yung ibang toyo, dark. And then there's another question here. Ayan. From Adelaida Garciano. Ano po yung leaks? Ayan. Pwede po bang ipa-highlight po para makita po ang itsura? <laughs> okay. <onion laughs> yung leaks po. <laughs> yung onion leaks po yung mahaba. Um, siguro, Kuya Ian, you can buy, ano, Backtrack mo yung ano yung ating nasa chopping board yung yung itsura ng licks. Okay, forward ko lang po ha. Um, before that kuya iya nasa chopping board siya. Oh, before that. Ah, uh, before. After maybe, yeah, after maybe the poke bowl. Hold on na po. Before this one po. Yeah, before that one. No, after that. Okay. For the sake of our uh, viewer na nag <laughs> kung anong onion leaks. Ayan, gusto namin ipakita sa inyo para mas uh, yan po. Are, 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 am I on the right path? Uh, before pa, si Kipaya, Kuya. Um, backtrack ka pa. Sige pa, kasi papakita pa niya. Ah, uh, uh, okay. later, yeah. We, we have to wait after niyan. Ah, after it all. Yan ang yeah, after niya. Yeah. Yun yung ah, kasi siguro nakita hindi niya nakita yung ano, buo kasi na slice ko na. Kasi I have to slice everything para madali yung ano, madali tayong madaling matapos yung cooking demo. So, ayun po, ops. Ops, Kuya Ian. Ops, folks. Yan po, yung katabi po siya ng carrots, yung leeks. Meron po siyang roots do sa iba ba, pero chinap ko na po siya. So, yan po yung leeks. Yung nasa dulo po ay celery. Yung nasa gitna ng carrots and celery, yan po yung leeks. Ayun, tama. This is, ito po kasi sa iba, sa, pampa, sa Pampanga, ang tawag namin dyan, or a local dialect po, is sang. Ah, I see. Yes, sang. <laughs> so, so, onion leeks po yan. <laughs> yan yan ang, po yung onion leeks. Alright, so sino pa ang nag-ano? Sino pa ang, may mga question pa dito? Wait, hold on. Let me just check out the other questions here. Okay, that's thank you so much kay Glenn Rosuniga. I hope we answered your question. Ay, Adelaida Garcia pala yun. Ay, Garciano. And then, um, oh, my question dito. Uh, Annie Barrios. Sabi niya, how sure are we na safe na yung raw 
vegetables natin nakakain? Actually po, uh, we're not very sure kung safe lahat ng binibili natin sa palengke. Um, if you want to be sure, magtatanim po tayo talaga ng ating, ano, ng ating kakainin. But the thing is, um, whether in the market or in the grocery, pag kinain po natin, we have to wash it properly. Talagang huhugasan po natin. Ini, or i-scrub din pa nga po dapat natin yan, ini-scrub. Tapos, kung meron po kayo yung, ano, yung clean, Um, we were using meron pong liquid na ano, I don't know, iyan kung, kung alam mo yan, kung, kung kami kayo dyan sa US, yung vegetable wash, na if you just drop it a little, drop lang po a little doon sa water, tapos you just soak everything, yung mga gulay nyo, uh, yun po, nakakalinis din po yun. I think we have here sa healthy option, I saw one, no? Um, vegetable... I think it's vegetable wash. Parang ganun po yung pangalan niya. Yan. So we cannot be sure po kasi hindi natin alam kung saan sila galing. And the transportation, no? Um, we can never be sure. Kaya po ang sabi ko nga sa inyo, if you want to be sure of what you're eating, better plant po talaga. Magtanim po talaga tayo. Yan. And I think, um, Chef Florida, just to add on that, another alternative is... Uh, You could you could put the uh, salt, uh, di ba yung ibabasa yeah. yung vegetables nyo, and then mm-hmm. naglagay yes. po kayo ng salt, kasi nakakatulong mm-hmm. din siyang mag um magalis na to mga pesticides. Yung mga right? yeah, pesticides. Yeah. Especially uh, for the broccoli and coli, kuya iyan. Mm-hmm. Pati yung mga leaves, lalagyan lalagyan yun lang po siya ng konting salt, tapos yes. konting babat yeah. lang. Yes, that's right. Because, alam nyo, nowadays, talagang it was not like before that you know we have so much time in doing our own backyard farming. In fact, if you yeah. have time, mas safe parin talaga yung backyard farming. Yun yung mas rin na recommend namin. But because of the um, the time nowadays, you know, we're always living in a city life. Marami sa atin dito, and it's really hard and difficult for us to come up with uh, safe vegetables. But you know, um. Yeah. Uh, well, at least, uh, sabi nga nila, it's the lesser, it's the lesser, uh, uh, sabi it's the lesser evil as compared to, um, you know, eating um, uh, non-vegetable items in the market. Because at least vegetables, we all know, and fruits, we all know that these are very good for our body and this is prescribed by the Lord God yes. Himself. Yeah. Meron dito, Kuya Ian, si Cherry Bloom, baking soda po ang sa amin dito sa Italy, which is correct. Tama po yun. Kung makakabili po kayo ng konti yes. ng baking soda, konting-konti lang po, no? Just a uh, um, dash maybe ng konti ng baking soda, tapos ibababad niyo po yung inyong mga gulay doon and fruits, that would help. Yes, that is true. That is true. Tama po yan. And um, yeah, we, we, you could also use that. Ma, ma, that's also safe to use. Um, yes. And good to use as well. Then meron po dito another question. I think this will be one of the last questions we'll be entertained for tonight. So, okay. Ang sabi niya, ni Lizelle Polides, sana po may share rin po kayo sa HealthWise for Christ po na video on how to make tofu rin po. Sana kung alam nyo, rin po, sana kasi dito po, ah, di, di, dami, dami pong soybeans dito sa amin. Ah, okay. Nagpapashare sila ko para gumawa ng tofu and soy milk. I guess that's going to be a separate lecture. Marami tayong mga... Oh, oh. <laughs> But Chef Lorna, I'm not sure. Could, could you, would you like to do a demo for that? But I think... Uh, Opo, magkakaroon po tayo siguro ng isang episode ng how to make, how to make yung tofu, yung hard tofu. Kasi um, most of our watchers, lalo na po doon sa mga malalayo, uh, especially nowadays na pandemic, you can cook yung tofu po as a means for your income, yung uh, maging, uh, para masustain yung inyong family. No? Uh, maganda pong ano yan, maganda pong... Um, hanap buhay at the same time you are helping people to be health to be healthy. Sige po, bibigyan po natin ng time isang episode kuya Ian. Magpapaalam po muna ako kay kuya Ian no para magkaroon tayo ng how to cook tofu, yung tofu making po natin. 
Sure, sure. I think, uh, Chef Laura, we could do that one episode. That is not an issue. I think we can. And uh, Lisa, I hope by that episode you could watch that. Um, we will we will announce perhaps or. I, I will schedule ko yah iyan. Oh, okay. Chef Laura, kung may singit natin with one of our cooking demos, kasi ang ginagawa man natin is. Like next episode will be um, another body system, and then we'll do another cooking demo, body system, cooking demo. So we, you, ma, ma, pa, pa, si nyo po mas mas ini increase natin yung frequency ng cooking demo, kasi um, we wanted to help you make your kitchens work for your health. Ayan. Yes. Pero pong isa pang question, si Ivy Vina, ang sabi yung may iba po bang option for uh, sa brown rice? I think you mentioned this, uh, Chef Lorna, kanina, no? Yung, yung quinoa, right? Quinoa. Yung quinoa, pwede po yun. It's a very healthy grain. Pwede rin pong couscous. Na, but this item po, ay wala talaga tayo nito locally. So, medyo mahal po ito compared dun sa brown rice. But if you have the red rice or the black rice, pwede naman po. Except yung white rice. Kasi ang white rice po ay refined na yun. Na-process na po yun eh. So wala na tayong vitamins na makukuha sa kanya. Nagpapataba lang po sa atin. I see. Yeah. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm just looking for the next uh, ito yung sinasabi pala ni Jerry Bloom. Daman yung sinabi nyo kanina na yes, baking soda nga. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Cherry. Yan. Yung iba nga, salt daw lang ang gamit nila, like day nyo. Yes, okay. we mm -hmm. do that too. Okay, um, what else, what else? Yan. Oh, may nag-greet pa sa inyo. <laughs> Kay Ninang Lord daw. Yan, si, si, si At Penina. I know, I think... Ay, ako. Oh. Hi, <laughs> Mang Pen. <laughs> Si Ma'am Pen po ay teacher ng aking ang mga anak at inaanak din po ni Pastor. So, mga kaya twice, atin pong ano, yung pong gagiging vegetarian, uh, meron po masabihan, di ba? Um, uh, your medicine is your um, um, ah, medicine. So, I think that, yes, I know that. That's Hippocrates, the father of medicine. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let food be uh, let, thy medicine. Let, let food be thy your let food be your medicine. So, and medicine na, be your food. Yeah, na isko po sa nang ano manawagan ko yah iyan like kung sino po yung nag uh, follow sa akin from the very start ng power play magshare naman po kayo ng inyong um experience using the power plate kung kunwari po ay nabawasan ng inyong timbang using the power plate we can we will appreciate that or yung bumaba po yung BP niyo o yung cholesterol niyo share niyo naman po sa amin para naman po makapag-share din kami doon sa ibang viewers na yung ganitong klase ng meal ay very effective po talaga no yes 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 and i will really will appreciate that and 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 we're encouraging that actually. I forgot. Meron po pala ditong um question. Ang sabi ni Emmy Ebron, gusto po sa gusto ko po sana matutugomuan ng veggie meat. Gusto yan ng pamangkin ko. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, elevate na tita. Chef Ron, <laughs> elevate na yung mga request ng ating mga viewers. Opo, ah, pataas ng pataas na yan, Kuya E. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama, yan, mga, pero this is pero, <laughs> Alam niyo po ano if I were uh, if you are going to ask me kung uh, ano po yung pinaka mas gusto kong gamitin mas gusto ko pong gamitin ng tofu kasi ang tofu po it's uh, yung soy beans ilalaga lang po yan eh wala siyang preservative and if you will notice ang tofu po hindi yan tumatagal sa inyo ng ng one week or five days it, yung mag nagiging slimy na yan so mas maganda pong ga gamitin itong mga tofu kesa sa mga processed meat, no? yung, yung mga mock meat na tinatawag. Kasi po itong mga mock meat na to it will last hanggang 6 months. No? May mga preservatives na po sila. But the best thing, of course, ay yung mga fresh yung legumes, like the beans. Yan, yan po ang gamitin natin. You can have the protein content of this um, compared doon sa mga veggie meat and other mock meat products. No? Mas safe pa po itong gamitin. 
Yes. And then, dito nagsabi, yung basmati rice, okay lang po ba? Yes, you could use basmati rice. Ano po, Chef Lorna, you could use that. Actually, um, uh, they say that basmati rice is even better as compared to white rice because of the um, lesser calorie content of it. Ng basmati, yeah. Mm -hmm. Opo. It's actually better than white rice. Opo. Depende po talaga sa inyo yan kung ano, kung... But I, I, I discourage you to use yung white rice kasi po talagang uh, process ang white rice. Wala po tayo talagang makukuhang, ano, very small lang. If, if meron, napakakunti lang po talaga. That's true. Okay, Chef Lorna, we will now turn to the very, very exciting part ng ating program, yung mga nanalo. Di ba we promised yes. last week? We said that every time we will do the cooking demo, Pag nagbibigay tayo ng price, it will be a different way. Hindi ka mukha ng mga regular, yeah. mga regular sessions. Wheel. We do the picker wheel, right? And then we ask yes. questions. But this time, yung ating power plate challenge. Yun ang ating ano. Let me highlight our power plate challenger who, uh, uh, who uh, what you call this, um, won for this week. But wait, there's a question here. Uh, si Ate Donya Taya. Yeah, yeah, nakita ko nga yan eh. Arthritis ang resulta kapag laging akong nagtotofu. Ah, I see. Wala po si Doc, uh, i, uh, si, wala po si Doc, L, si Kuya Doki. But anyway, ang arthritis po, hindi po totoo na kapag ka nagtotofu ka, parate, ay tumataas yung uric acid mo. Um, one um, evidence is that yung pong aking apo na 12 and 14 ever since vegetarian sila since birth. So wala naman po silang arthritis, no? Yung mga kilala ko po na may mga edad na, na mga 60 pataas na vegetarian, hindi po sila nagkakaroon ng arthritis, no? Because of the high uric acid. As far as I know, yung uric acid po ay tumatas ang ating uric acid kapag ang intake natin ng food ay rich in protein and fats. No? Ang ating pong intake ng mga pagkain na rich in protein and fat, which is meat, yung fish, and um, ay ano po ito, high in fats and protein. Now, ang, ang mga plant-based po, they are rich in fats. Wala po, uh, no, I'm sorry, they are rich in protein. Wala po silang fats. No? So the more you eat ng protein and fats, the, the more nag-shoot up ang ating uric acid. So, yan po. So, if your body, yung accumulated na, no, matagal na kayo kumakain ng meat or ng fish or ng beef or ng chicken, yung po inyong katawan ay may accumulated fat na. Hindi po yan agad-agad na naaalis. No? Like, for example, I'm 59 years old. So, from 59 years old, I've been eating chicken and meat nasa katawan ko na po yan. So, pag mataas na po yung aking uh, uric acid, mataas yung aking cholesterol, mataas na po yung aking um, uh, BP, uh, mag-shift ako sa vegetarian, hindi po agad-agad. Just imagine, for 59 years po, nandito na yung mga taba sa katawan ko. So, it will take time, no? At least, uh, the most, no, po, yung at least, no, yung minimum, I think, is 3 to 1 month, makikita na po natin yung improvement when you shift into a vegetarian diet. So, slowly, bumababa na po yung inyong cholesterol, yung, yung blood sugar nyo, bumababa na po. Pero hindi po yan abrupt. Hindi po yan agad-agad. Kasi yung iba ko ya iyan, akala nila kapag may sakit sila, no, using this kind of power plate or turning into a vegetarian, agad-agad na maano, you, marami pa pong fats, yung mga uh, toxins sa katawan natin na kailangan po nating alisin, no? That's why yung mga pagkain po natin, it should be high fiber kasi yan po yung nagwawalis sa ating katawan, no? Every time na kumakain tayo ng mga pagkain na high fiber, na umiihi tayo, dumudumi po tayo, madalas yan, pinagpapawisan tayo. So in that way, na, na lumalabas po yung mga dumi sa ating katawan. So yan po. So kailangan po talaga nating ipag-pray, no? Lalo na yung may mga may mga sakit, no? Pagpe-pray po natin talaga na yung ating tang ay kailangan matame, kailangan madisiplina. But it's not 
easy, no? It's a struggle para matain mo ang dila mo na, 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 na mataas ang standard. Mataas. Ibig ko sabihin, maalat, masarap, matamis, no? Kailangan mo yung itim, no? Slowly. But, dapat with a lot of prayer and commitment. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef Lorna. Actually, it's very well said. And another, in other words, for that is, um, it's uh, yung, yung, to tame your tongue, or that's what we call temperance, no? Temperance. Yes. yes. Yeah. Not only that, because ang dila natin is already adulterated. Yes. Meaning, masyado na tayo na is a salty, sa too much sweet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so these two things. Ang sabi nga sa akin ng one Korean person na nakausap ko whatever is sweet and so uh, sweet and salty is not good for the body but whatever is sour and bitter is good bitter. for the body correct yeah. mm -hmm. so ayan po talagang magpe-pray po tayo and ha we have to commit no dapat po yung commitment niyo talaga na you have to maintain a good and healthy body Yan. Yes, yes. And of course, so those who were able to just join in now or tune in now, pwede nyo pong i-replay itong video na to. And naka-record naman po ito. You could um, replay it, lalo na po sa YouTube channel natin, no? na HealthWise ang YouTube channel natin. All our cooking demos, naka-playlist na po sila doon. So you could like just search, um, just go to our YouTube channel and then just type in uh, cooking demo ng, or healthwise cooking demo. Lahat ng playlist ng cooking demos natin automatic nasa isang playlist na po. Ayan. So inorganize ko na po siya ganun para mas mabilis at madali for your uh, convenience. And of course, before anything else, our verse for tonight, of course, is found on Matthew chapter 16. Matthew, that's Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Uh, this is the part, or just to give context around this, this is the part when Christ, Jesus Christ has commissioned the 11 apostles. And on the la uh, and on verse 18, ang sabi nga dito, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will be, uh, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Ibig sabihin, binigyan ng kakayahan ng Panginoong Jesus ang mga disciples to heal. Therefore, we are the disciples of Christ for nowadays. And with the help of, of course, Chef Lorna, we are healing, in, we're helping you heal your bodies by eating healthy food. Ayan. Kaya po, ang ating Panginoong Jesus, mahal na mahal niya tayo. He loves us so much. The way he commissioned the, the, the apostles is the way we are commissioned now as we protect our health. No? Um, um, talagang uh, makikita nyo na talagang mas, uh, um, mas may favor ang Panginoon sa atin kapag ta tayo ay nakikita niya yung effort natin na we are trying to preserve our bodies to make it holy and to make it... Uh, um, um, the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ayan. So we're preserving our bodies and we're making sure that we, we wanted to give that uh, optimum uh, health care for us. Ayan. All right. Without further ado, we have two, two power plate challengers who won for this week. Ayan. <laughs> okay. So ito, ha? I'll just share my screen. Okay. Let me share my screen and let me put in first one of our winners we have all right ayan i think many of the people here knows who this who who uh who is our uh ayan and to stream ayan i'm not sure if you know um ayan si esther that's tita esther tita esther pagdilao congratulations you have won the power play challenge and of course, you will be receiving our book entitled "Cooking Smart." Ayan. So, if you could just again give us your 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 uh, complete address, uh, Tita Esther, with your barangay, of course, please, and your complete mobile number. Just type it in. Doon po sa message na uh, mag mag message po ulit kayo sa Healthwise for Christ, and and we will be giving you or sending you uh, the book. Ayan. And then our next. Our next 
winner. Yeah, and see, oh, si Tita Esther pala. I call her Tita Esther because she's so dear to me, but she's actually Dr. Esther Pagdilao. Ayan. All right. Let me see the other winner. Ayan. I hope I'm. you're seeing your screens right now. Let me add this to the screen. There you go. Uh, I hope you can see her name, but she is no other than uh, Jeneline Baut Bautista Dumos. Sister Jeneline, thank you very much. At talagang pinos niya talaga. This is, exactly what, this is exactly what we want to see. So may power yeah. for black rice siya for grain, may banana siya for fruits. She has her vegetables. And of course, her legumes, I think, were the tofu inside the plate. So congratulations, Jeneline Bautista. Congratulations, Jeneline. Nan nanalo po kayo ng Cooking Smart Book. Ayan. And again, to, to receive your Cooking Smart book, uh, Sister Jeneline Dumos, please send us your, your complete name, your complete address with Barangay, and your mobile number. And of course, you should be, dapat naka-like and naka-subscribe kayo sa ating mga Facebook and YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you so thank much. You so much po. We, we hope to see you again next week. Uh, bah, ang pakaganda ng ating topic next week, you know? um, our topic for next week is um, is uh, uh, entitled, hold on, let me just get that out. <laughs> I think it's ba? muscular. Yes, I think, it, yes, it's a muscular system. So we will be studying yeah. about the muscular system of the body. Ayan, that will be next week. So tayo ay, um, I hope you could join us next week again. And Alam nyo, ang dami-dami talaga nating natututunan every Thursday night. Kaya please, always stay tuned yeah. with us. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo sa pagsama nyo sa amin ngayong gabi. And don't forget always to like and subscribe to our Facebook and YouTube channels. At hanggang po, hanggang sa muli po ako po ulit si inyong si Kuya Ian. At sa ngalan po ni Ate Jen. At sa ngalan ni Kuya Doc. At ni Ate Doc. Ayan. At uh, ni Kuya Bry. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Please share always our our, our um, uh, YouTube channels and our Facebook uh, page, and we will see you again next Thursday 8 p.m. Don't forget, please. Uh, we will always um uh magkakaroon tayo lagi ng mga magaganda mga discussions dito plus the cooking demos which we always made it more regular as requested. Ayan. As requested, okay. Yes. Muli po, po sa inyo. Um, Always eat right and be healthy. Yeah. Chef Lorna, do you have any reminders? Oh, um, na ati pong uh, tatandaan, the body, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit whom we have received from God and this is not ours. So we have to take care of this. Yeah. Salamat po and see you next week, next Thursday. Next next Thursday, yep. Bye-bye. Yes, Thank you. Bye. Salamat po. <laughs>